Hey everybody, T1 Glistener Elf here. I'm going to be playing some MTG Arena, uh, a few di different things. FNM at Home Artisan is up, so I will absolutely sign up for that, and it'll be pretty similar to the deck that I'll be playing in rank today. See, my rank right now, as of when this is being recorded, says season ends in five days, and I'm at Platinum Tier 2. The closest I've gotten is Platinum Tier 1, just one away. And then I had a disconnection issue, because... If you've been watching my arena series, you know, I hate it. <laughs> I hate getting disconnected. It's why I hadn't played ranked seriously until this season. Um, and now I've, I've gotten, I've dropped all the way down to Platinum 2, so that was fun. I was able to log back in in time to watch my creature get killed by a Blitz of the Thunder Raptor that I could have saved it from with Karmetch's Blessing that was in my hand. Okay, I'm salty. I'm very salty about that. <laughs> Uh, but f speaking of Karmatch's Blessing, this is uh, the deck that I'm running. So I have two, uh, when I'm grinding in Historic and when I'm grinding in Standard. They're essentially the same deck, though. Uh, so this is uh, Lurus Auras. So we start off with Lurus, so all of the permanents in my deck have to be uh, CMC 2 or less, uh, which means, so I have 16 creatures, for Allseed, for Beloved Princess, uh, for Ginger Brute, and for Hushbringer, which is a little awkward right now, I admit, uh, because of some of the cards in the meta. Uro. Uh, <laughs> and we have lots and lots and lots of enchantments. We have four Sentinel's Eyes, only three Solid Footing, uh, because there's one Shadow Sphere, four All That Glitters, best or in the deck, of course, four Knight's Pledge, which is usually just budget All That Glitters, and, and then we have Castle Ardenvale for our lands. Uh, this is uh, the only rare land, as I wrote. No, no, there's Bonders Enclave as well. One Bonders Enclave. Uh, four Idyllic Grange and 18 planes. Now, that's a lot of lands, actually. I'm looking through this now and seeing that I have 24 lands in the deck, which is probably too many. Uh, Idyllic Grange is interesting because it puts a counter on a creature, which makes it where it doesn't die to a Heartless Act. So they can remove the counter or kill a creature with no counters, but they can't do both. So looking at this, I definitely have too many lands, and that, that needs to change. It's a Lurus deck with 24 lands. Something something is wrong with this picture. Um, so I, I can fix it. In fact, let me do that right now. I'm not sure how there were that many, but we, we got we got to take care of uh, 16 creatures because you, you... This is MTG Arena. In best of one, it's going to usually sort your lands for you. Uh, but creatures, that's a different story. You can't keep a hand that doesn't have a creature unless maybe you are on the play and you have something like a Karametra's Blessing, three or four lands, and Lurus, obviously. So you always have a creature in your hand. It's just getting Lurus out there is kind of slow, and it's often too slow for standard. Unfortunately. <laughs> so that's, that's this deck. Uh, no sideboard for it right now because it's made for best of one, so sorry about that. Why did I have 24? 23 is honestly still too many. I should find something else to go in there, and we can do that right now. <laughs> Eeny, meeny, miny... I want to so badly. There's a previous iteration of this deck that ran Passivism and uh, Transcendent Envoy, um, but no, it's, it's probably a little bit too cute. I don't know, maybe one is fine. One versus what, like, Indomitable Will? I really don't have a whole lot of other options. You can see because of Companion filtering, I don't have a lot, you know, I could play another Shadow Sphere. We'll do that, we'll play two Shadow Spheres, that's fine. That'll work out. I hope. Oh, 61, yeah, gotta fix that. Uh, it does mean that these are pretty likely to come in tapped for a while, which is a bit of a problem, but Enclave lets me draw cards when my creatures get big enough, if I need to break a board state, for instance. Uh, so, that's pretty cool. Uh, that's, now... Usually, the deck is really, really strong. One removal spell and you're done, though. So, uh, it is, it is Infect. I am playing Infect. Um, my rule is that when I get through, uh, when I get into Standard, I look for certain archetypes to build first, Land Destruction, Turbo Fog, um, the closest thing I can come up with to Infect. <laughs> and I think that there's one other in there too. Storm, there we go. Well, right now, this is the closest thing we have to Infect. 
I even get to run Karmetch's Blessing, so Blossoming Defense. Uh, but first, let's open some packs really quickly. This is just what I happen to have. I've been opening a lot of Ikoria because of the Trilands. That's not a Triland, but we'll take it. That's alright. Yay. Alright. Uh, yeah, looks good. And then Zendikar Rising. Alright. Aha! Seagate Restoration. Okay. That gives me two of the uh, mythic spell lands. Uh, MD, I forget their initials. <laughs> uh, but before we move on to the next, before we move on to some actual games, uh, Bad Moon over Zendikar. So uh, Bad Moon MTG uh, held a little giveaway, and I I won. So go and follow Bad Moon over Zendikar. Bad Moon MTG. Uh, MTG Arena streamer. I'll admit, I haven't watched him yet, but he gave me a pack, so that's pretty cool. And I don't get to watch streamers too much, so my having not watched him does not mean that it's not quality, it just means I don't get to watch too much. Even for people that I try to follow, like uh, like Michael1916 and Total MTG, I just hardly get the chance to. Uh, so, sorry about that. <laughs> I wish I could give a more full force. Uh, Full force? What's the, what's the term? Full throat? Uh, I, I wish I could give a total endorsement, but unfortunately, uh, not right now. <laughs> Alright, so maybe that's another pack. It's another. Oh, and of course it's Ikoria. It's the set I keep opening for tons of. You know what? I'm actually going to save that for a sec. I'm going to tease you guys with it for a bit. So, in order to play Artisan, this is FNM at Home Artisan, so commons, uncommons, basic dance. Cool! So, we will need to switch a few things up. Oh, <laughs> or we could just play this. You know what? Let's take a look. I already have this. It's no, Oh, no, no, it is It is a Artisan, so it's already built, actually. Let's see. Uh, go down to 19 lands? Is that right? Is that what we're going to do? Below Princess, Ginger Brute. Oh, wait a minute, it is missing some stuff. It, it's missing uh, All Seed, for instance. Oh, there you are, right here. There's no way I'm not running you in here, somewhere. This is the, uh, ridiculous. Look at the ridiculous silly. Let's take these out. I think that's probably right. Well, maybe not. Look at the silliness here. So we have uh, Heliod's Pilgrim, which goes and gets, yes, any of your regular auras, but it also gets, uh, Dreadful Apathy, Trapped in the Tower, Passivism. Do you see a theme here? <laughs> I'm being... This is ridiculous. Don't actually do this, folks. This is terrible. But, but... Uh, yeah, this is, this, is, this is neat. So, we have 16 creatures. And we look at that again to make sure. Yep, 16 creatures. I think this is alright. Um, hmm. Only 19 lands, but... In best of one, that's probably okay. That's probably closer to where I need to be, anyway. Hmm. Got a bad feeling about this, though. I'm missing something for sure. The dub is kind of neat. Alright. Oh, yeah. Might help if I actually clicked on it. Ta-da! Alright. So let's get our games on. Uh, the quest today is kill 15 creatures. That will not happen very quickly with what I'm trying to do, but I will be playing quite a few games. <laughs> Alright, so this looks okay. Two creatures, two all that glitters, and something to stop their creatures and two lands. This is pretty pretty close to perfect, isn't it? Um, you know what? You know what? If I see green right off the bat, I'm going to go this way. Conclave Mentor. Okay, that's alright. Oh, and another one. Ooh, you... That was supposed to be all the glitters. I just didn't even... Ah, okay. Well, we can make this work. That was supposed to be all the glitters. I don't even think that was a touchscreen issue. I think that was just me not looking. Okay. Hmm... Hmm. 
I'll wait to use the dreadful apathy until something that has a lot more on it gets used. Uh, let's attack with the ginger brick here. Let's see. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Because this is six. On the next turn, we have all that glitters again, which goes into which adds an additional one. Um, Plus the all that glitters itself. Whoa! Not the ginger brew. Okay, okay. I mean, not the all seed. I am all over the place today. Not the all seed is what I meant to say. <sighs> okay. I might want to start using those soon. Yeah, that doesn't do me a whole lot of good on its own, unfortunately. Let's go for it. Wake up. If it's, if it's going to be a day like this, I'm in trouble. Hmm. And of course he gets extra counter. Extra counters because there's two of them. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Well, I know which one gets the do or gets the dreadful apathy now. Bang, bang, ow! Oh no! Four, and then swing in. Got it. Okay. Can either attack nor block. Yeah, I, I definitely could have played this game a bit better. A good bit better. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Another one. Another one. Another one. Okay. So the only creature that has vigilance can't attack or block anyway. Okay. So let's make it where our creature can't be hit by another swallow hole, because of course that'll happen. All right. Then they'll gain two. And this is a exile enchanted creature. In case it matters for conclave mentors trigger, when it enters the battlefield, trample counter. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. Okay. I was about to say I. I may be missing something here, but when they're tapped out in standard... Okay. That that felt like dumb luck. Although, they did find three Conclave Mentors, so it looked like both of us had pretty ideal starting hands. Hmm. Magmatic Channeler. Okay. Okay. A two-mana 4-4. Four, four. That does other stuff. Alright, let's try this again. We didn't kill a whole lot of their creatures. <laughs> we killed one. Oh, had they let us continue through to combat, or had I reacted quickly enough, then yeah, I, I guess we would have done more. Dr. Troglodyte. Okay, uh, looks good. Once again, I, I guess I can't really, aha! Be on the same deck, please. Please be on the same deck. In that case, Maybe Beloved Princess would be better. Now we're going to start off with an all seed. If they're going to buff their creature, then Beloved Princess can at least swing through. Oh, nope, never mind. It's a different deck. You gain three or more life this turn. Hmm. Hmm. Nine. Three or more life. Well... I'm kinda tempted to put the Sentinel's Eyes on the Princess. And these become 2-2, two -two, so they actually will be able to block the Princess. So maybe I should do Ginger Brute instead. Um... 
a bit counterintuitively, maybe I actually put this on the all seed. No, it's fine. I'll put it on the ginger brew. Okay. Okay, itchy nose. Oh, another one. Oh! There's a trick here. I can tell. I can feel it. No blocks. Carmen just blessing. No? Okay. Cool. Hmm. Okay, let's just stick this on right here. Neat. Boom, boom. Okay. Anything else? Aha! Okay. Aha! That's uh, pretty nice. I, I think. I would say. Hmm. Okay. See if they can keep this up. I'm imagining that the answer is yes. Unfortunately, the answer is probably yes. Glass casket. Okay. Uh, that's a problem. Oh, yeah, they get two more now. Ooh, I like what their deck is doing. Let me give them the nice for that. Hmm. Okay. So we're a little slow. A little bit. Maybe the light. Ah! Oh, you stop that. <laughs> You saw that right now. Mm. Oh my goodness. Even more. Dos mas. <sighs> yeah. That's a good game. That's a good game. Well. Okay. I killed none of their creatures either. Thankfully we're not in ranked. But that's a, that's a cool deck. I like what they're doing. Three life seems to be a good threshold for quite a bit in this format. Alright. Not feeling super duper well, but I'll live. I'll be fine. Kamikaze pirate. <laughs> Just like run your ship into it. Okay. Uh, yes. Yes, we'll keep. See if we can find that third land for Pilgrim. That would be nice. If not, we'll live. Hmm. Nope. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see how long we can go with this. Aha! It's rogues. Of course it is. Um. I'm actually going to do this now because it cares about attacking all right one more land one more land por favor no okay ooh ooh Interesting. Double block to kill it? They could do it. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. I have zero power here. You have no power here. I guess... I guess that's what we're going with. Alright. That's enough. Let's put this out. It's something you need to do against them anyway. Because they're rogues. Make sure as best you can that they keep your that your graveyard stays pretty small. Ooh, oh boy. Speaking of small, all of their creatures can block mine actually. Mills two cards. Okay. Could really, really use that third land. Please. Okay. Well, if we're not going to get that, at least we'll get something. Make them do it. No, okay, no block. They could have actually double blocked to kill it. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. Just looking at this hand, we have a problem. 
Okay. At least our creature has lifelink, and now they don't have but one creature that can block it, and that creature won't be able to kill it. If I'm not going to, f <laughs> if I'm not going to find another land, hey, I was about to say at least I could have a sentinel's eyes, please. All right, first strike. Okay, do what we have to do. First strike and vigilance seems okay. Seems all right. That's not so much a dainty princess anymore. She's looking pretty buff. All right, let's keep it going. If they find another thought thief and let me attack through it, that would be ah. No. No. Okay, that's that's probably a game. Let's see. What could get me out of this? Nada. If I found a land, no, I didn't. Okay, Heliod's pilgrim. Can I survive another turn? 9, 11, 13, nope, I cannot. Uh, okay, that's game. They got me. You live by the 19 lands, you die by the 19 lands. <laughs> what can you do? We didn't get, let, get a chance to let Heliod's Pilgrim show off, unfortunately. That's okay. Somewhere there's a happy medium probably between 19 and and 24. Probably. Probably better now. Okay. There's my saffron olive impression for you all. <sighs> Betalira. Okay. If I had the time, I would like to look up everybody's username to see if they stream. Hello. I mean, obvious mole is obvious, but. No buts about it, I have to. And that's the uh, Basri land, by the way. If you played Jumpstart and found Basri's set, uh, then that land was added to your collection. Uh, unfortunately, I missed out on the Phyrexian Swamp, the one that, the only one that I really wanted, uh, because I just didn't play it all that much, I suppose. Apparently, though, Jumpstart will be coming back to Arena, and when it does, that'll be, that'll be nice. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have to keep it. Hmm. I think that that's probably correct. Could have been the second pilgrim, but I don't know if I need to play around removal. Doesn't matter at all if I don't find another land. Alright. Come on, Eugene. Come on, Ugin. Eugene. Check something real quick. Sorry, everybody. Okay, cool. Got it. Ta-da! Oh, what? There we go. Ta-da! I'm actually going to play this out now, unfortunately. Hello! So how's your day, everybody? I'm fine. Alright. Um, well, I have to worry about removal. I guess I want to put pacifism down on this thing early. In those colors, there shouldn't be much that they can do to get rid of it. Bounce it temporarily with, what, into the royal? Something like that. This thing also can still acquire counters, so if they do actually bounce it, then I might be in a bit of trouble. But at least it won't be dealing damage in the meantime. So we'll play a pilgrim first. Not only will we get to add another card to our hand, but we'll deck then. Alright, pilgrim. And it will resolve. Yay for not having blue mana. Alright. Eeny, meeny, miny. Yes, take action. Mm, okay. Uh, let's get another copy of Pacifism. I probably should have done Dreadful Apathy instead. Uh, because that would let me exile the creature that has it bounced. Oh, oh, there, there we go. All right, whale. There's something. And then do it again. 
we'll play out all seed and pacifism this turn. And we have another land. Does that change anything? I don't think it does in this case. And they really, really would not like to bounce my pilgrim, I'm sure. Alright. I do have to worry about... Oh, you know what? I don't have Karametch's Blessing in this deck. That's something that I could have added. Hmm. That, I do have to worry about Unsummon as a result. If I find a land here, then we can go Pilgrim and do it again. Royal Eruption. Three damage to... Okay. Three damage to any target. Yeah, okay. That, that happens. Hmm. Okay. So what would I have changed out? Uh, probably Trapped in the Tower. Uh, although it does deal with activated abilities. So, no, I, I guess I leave that in and I take out the Dreadful Apathies in place of Karametch's Blessing, because I have a playset. And it seems kind of important. A little bit. A little bit. Alright. What else do you have? Tell me my... Okay. Every time I see a long delay like this, I assume my internet's down again. Because, of course it would be. <sighs> I'm fine, too. Alright, here we go. Uh-huh. In that case... Pilgrim? I guess I'll get another one. Just find all of the passivisms and swing for two. We'll have to start doing something though in a bit. Uh, something else maybe. I like keeping cards in my hand though. See if they hold up counter magic to try to keep this sprite dragon kicking. I'll go passivism first and then. Oh, wait, they have another one. Of course they do. Of course they do. It's not a bad str oh, strategy. It looks like it might be working. I don't know how, what I think about going after the ginger brute there. All of their creatures have haste in anyway. Ooh, okay. Alright. So... Hmm. I guess we just go for raw power here. It doesn't matter which one, I suppose. I heard that. Okay. Alright. They might still outrace me, actually. It's, uh... It's certainly possible. Ram through. Oh, oh, crash through. Ram through. That's a green card. All right. Anything else? Ooh. Oh. Oh my goodness. Look at you. All right. I don't think I can do it. Well, maybe. All right. Is that enough? No, we're one shy. Good game. They got me. One shy, folks. We tried our best. We tried so hard and got so far. Okay. You know, let's make a quick tweak to the deck then. Well, right. I, I think that that would make a, a difference. I should change the name to, <laughs> of it for one. Historic. Artisan. Hello? Artisan. Artisan! Okay. So let's take out the Dreadful Apathies. Much as I might appreciate them. And... Put in Karametch's Blessing. Ta-da! Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Also just lowers the curve of the deck. I, I think that's pretty substantial. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad this isn't happening in ranked either. 
Oi. Okay, they go for... Wow, please be a creature deck. Please, please be a creature deck. And just let me blank all of the creatures. Tatsu. I hear that and I, I think of uh, the Tatsu from Street Fighter. Tatsumaki Simpiyaku. I think is how it's pronounced. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should have done the ginger bread. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, uh... Okay, what could they flash in here? I want to be careful. Anti-cognition. Oh, yeah, it's rogues. Okay. Well, in that case, I guess we might as well swing in. So it is a creature deck, but it's a flash creature deck. So I'll, I'll need to be careful about attacking. If I can put Dub on, then that might be a different story. Or we could just find all the glitters, I guess. Alright, and it gets countered. Kill? Yep, kill. Okay. Well, that's not good. We're not out of it just yet. We'll keep playing. I mean, we do have... Oh, no, it's not a creature deck. It's Mill. All right, well, if we don't find it soon, then we're out of here, actually. Yeah, four passivisms against a deck without creatures. Uh, that, that might not work. Okay, well, we have a creature, so we'll keep playing. All right. And... While it's not ideal, it does put Sentinel's Eyes into our hand. So at least there's that. We have that going for us. Speak of the Devil. Okay. Well, alright, we take those, I guess. <laughs> Oops. That's fine. They'll, they'll be okay. They'll live. Reveals their hand. <laughs> sure! <laughs> sure! Four passivisms. God, why hast thou forsaken... No, it's fine. Uh, I guess we'll just get rid of two of our lands. And pretend that this is a thing. When it's totally not. I maybe even should have waited on that. It lets me get out a, a Pilgrim next turn if I find one, but come on. Why am I still playing this? Because you win 0% of the games you can see, that's why. 40, okay. 38. There's a Pilgrim. Whee! I, why am I making you guys all watch this? Counter it. No, okay. Ooh. This might work out for us if they give us another Sentinel's Eyes. Nope. Okay. Well, I tried, folks. I tried. I'm trying. Frantic Inventory. Here's a card. I swear, I needed more Hedron Crabs to deal with. Hello? Okay, that actually doesn't make... That, that might even help us out, because then I can put Sentinel's Eyes onto Ginger Brute now. I swear, they're going to... Use cling to dust again. No, you stop. Stop, opponent. Stop. No. No. <laughs> okay. It's going to take quite the run of spells for me. Okay. 
I, th is, I think that's our last copy of Sentinel's Eyes, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. I believe. Alright. Here goes. Alright, there's three more, so I should be at 20. I am. Okay, well that, that worked. That totally worked. I shouldn't have even shown them that. Hiya! Whee! Mm. Stop! <laughs> Can I win at this point? I guess it's possible. No, no, not that one. Yeah, they haven't hit that many copies. Good game. But they haven't hit that many copies of all that glitters. So, had I found one, I could have actually won on the next turn. All that glitters, and then uh, make my creature unblockable. Okay, well that was a weird hand. <laughs> Four passivisms. Four passivisms against a deck where the only creature doesn't attack anyway. Hi, Gus. If you hear me click over like that, it's probably me checking the internet. If you hear like that, that's probably what it is. Oh my goodness. Ay, ay, ay. It's not looking so great for me. There are two kinds of days that I have on MTG Arena. All I do is win, 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 and... Hello darkness, my old friend. Those are the only kinds of days that I can have on this game, apparently. Yeah. Please don't tell me that whole time was this just them deciding what pet they would like to use. Oh. Hmm. Alright, so yeah, three lands. We can go plains, Grange plains. So we can go all seed. Nothing. Pilgrim. I mean, it depends on what our opponent does, of course, but... Well, we'll see. If they start off with a basic forest, we'll probably do all seed into all that glitters and just wait a little bit. Hiya! Yeah, you were an uncommon. That's right. So maybe it's just the Flyers deck, in which case I want to go as big as possible as quickly as possible. I think. Hiya! Boom. <sighs> okay. Another Watcher. Cool. Gets a little buff temporarily. Vandal. Okay. Um, hmm. I take four. They do have the ability to kill- no wait, no they don't. I have Sentinel's Eyes as well. Ha ha! Three cheers. We'll do this first. Make sure that they don't have any shenanigans. It's a very technical magic term. Play that out, pass the turn. Even though I'm not doing a whole lot of damage... Oh, nice. Uh, the fact that I am gaining life should be alright. Should make up for it a bit. Alright. Land. Another Watcher. Yet another Watcher. Jubilant Sky Litter. Oh yeah, because it costs less. Okay. I don't care about that ability at all. Not a bit. 
Let's just go. Yeah, not much I could do for that. Not much I can do about that. Right, on to my turn. That's interesting. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Dub gives me extra power, which seems like it might be useful when I'm... I'm actually kind of behind on damage here, and it's only expected to get worse. This would give me an extra three. So I think that's what I should do. I am putting all of my eggs in this one basket, though. Okay, good. They freed up pacifism for next turn. I don't know that I was expecting them to do that, but I'll take it. I wonder if the fact that they only have one white mana is slowing them down a bit. Nope, apparently not. One mana, two, one, flying draw card. I hear that's okay. I hear that that's alright. What is this when you attack with two or more creatures of flying draw card? Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Well, hmm, okay. Wall of Runes in a flying deck. I mean, sure, I guess. Yeah, this, this seems like it might be the one that's going to get most out of control in just a bit. Um... Maybe it's playing too conservatively to keep the Karmich's Blessing back. I haven't seen anything that indicates that they deal with my creature. And I'm about to gain 9, go to 22, take, let's say this is 3, uh, 6, 9, 10. I go up, ten, uh, up 9, down 10 in just a bit. I don't know that that's right. I have enough that I can play it safely here. I am the inevitable one. And I have another pacifism in hand. Alright. Here goes. Maybe I'm playing too cautiously. It's the infect player in me. It wants to hold up blossoming defense at all times. Alright. So they didn't have another one. Gonna keep Seer? No, no. Okay, good, good. Good, 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 good. I'm feeling okay so far about this. Seer is on blocking duty. Nope, there's another Seer. I guess that's what they drew. Otherwise they would have attacked with the Seer. Right on time. That buff comes right on time. Another one. Another one. Okay. I've only done that joke two times this video so far. Okay, Knight's Pledge. Passivism stems the bleeding. Just two or more. Yeah, let's do this. Itchy nose is itchy. I'm about to counter it? Lofty denial, okay. I don't dislike it. In that case, I need something to get a little more damage in. Let's go for it. That's ten. Ooh, hello. No. No. What are you doing? Okay. Boom. Oh my goodness, they just took it. Okay. Well. Nice. I like that. Alright. They attack with a team. They have a creature to block. That's a lot of damage. But they just... Oh, they just put themselves within Ginger Brute range. Do I just win? Okay. Let's go for it. Stop. 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 Alright. Let's make them do it. Counter it. Use that last card. Lofty Denial, okay. Never mind. Hmm. Well, 
I can put them to two. I may actually want to use the blessing. Hmm. I, I may want to use the blessing here on Allsade. Just to stay alive a little longer. Because if I do that, I go up 10, go to 21, and then I take 1, 2, 3, or so I take 9, I'm assuming it's 9, 13, 15, 17, 19. So I actually don't need it right now. I mean, they have to block, actually, so it wouldn't be that much anyway. Alright, I'll keep playing it safely, then. But they're about to draw a whole bunch of cards. Lofty Denial is doing work. Yeah. Draw your cards. I'm so glad Fairy Vandal doesn't get to do its job here. And so they attack with everything. Wait, what? Alright, something has flash. Something has flash here. Uh... Okay. Something has flash. I guess we attack. Oh, oh, no, we just... We got it. Okay. Spectral Sailor could have shown up. I don't know. That that seemed like it made sense, but alas, it did not. The good game was an actual concession. It was actually good game at that point. Maybe they did they didn't mean to attack with all of their creatures. Maybe uh, another channeler. Okay. So now we open that pack. That took entirely too long. Oh my goodness. We'll play some ranked games. I'm not sure how many. We'll, we'll play a few. Dirge Bat. Alright. I, I can live with that. There aren't too many more that you'll see first on. It's Genesis Ultimatum and maybe a few others. Let's see. Only four this whole time. Let's, uh, let's play the actual deck. Give me a chance to stretch. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All the popping going on. I am A-OK -okay with that. All right. Yeah, we may only get a few games in. So Hushbringer is a little awkward, because on the one hand, your opponent doesn't get to gain three life, draw a card, play an extra land with Uro. On the other hand, they just get an Uro. And as long as that's a thing, that's a thing. All right, so we'll have Princess, which unfortunately gives away pretty strongly what my deck is doing. Oh, it's Rogues again. It's Rogues. Okay, um, that's not great. Attach it to a creature control. Okay. I actually don't dislike this matchup. I, I do rather like it. But it can be a bit of a problem. Here it is turning into a problem. So Hushbringer might be the better card for this. I'm not sure. They didn't play a, an Enforcer yet. Uh, so we'll start off with Sentinel's Eyes and Attack. See what they do. Please block. Okay. Cool. Solid footing. Bang. Alright, so we killed one of their creatures. Yay! Hoorah! And then there's that. Um. Sure. Why not? I mean. Yay. It's indestructible, you see. And then we'll play out a Hushbringer. <laughs> I'm remembering a, a game... Aha! Yeah, now you don't get to do anything. A game of magic where 
I'm just messing with my friend, and I, I tell him, shh, because I had vexing Shusher out on the field. Over and over, I, I kept doing that. Alright, there's another one. Okay. That's a problem. That I can't do much about. And my graveyard is just blessing. Right now. For right now. Once Nighthawk Scavenger gets a little bit bigger, I can actually buff it to the point where it can no longer block Beloved Princess. Yeah. I'm actually going to lose the race at this rate. Alright, hiya! Maybe I could have even put something on Hushbringer to make it big enough to kill Nighthawk. Mm hmm. Maybe. Dead art. It looks like a uh, like the front cover of a, a romance novel you'd find in some big box retailer. I don't dislike it, I just think it's... I like it being different. I do appreciate that. It's something else. And I mean that in the best way possible. Okay. Well, that works. Hmm. Now I can put the counter on Ginger Brute. I'm going to have to start attacking at some point. Yeah, right now there's not a need for Luris just yet, so I'll just keep doing this. Alright, well it's my last card in hand, so now if I want to use, nope, removal, that would have been a, a decent time. Ooh, hello, nope, 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 nope. Ooh. Hi... There it goes. There it goes. So now we'll have enchantments in as well. Okay. Uh, now it's bigger. Giggy. I'll wait. I'll wait. And turn. Because right now Nighthawk Scavenger can't block Beloved Princess. Do have to watch out for this though. No blocks. Okay. Something... Uh, maybe, actually, it's not the case that something's up their sleeve. Maybe they just realize they can't block with... Ah. Okay. Yeah, that's a problem. Now they can give... Uh, vigilance to one of their creatures. Vigilance and plus one, plus one. I... I thought about doing it last turn. Turns out I should have. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good at all. Okay. Oh, there's... there aren't enough. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Guess I just need to buy a turn. Decisions, decisions. Alright. I could even attack with you as well. And then block with the Ginger Brute. While I have a chance to attack with Hushbringer. Deals one extra, gains one extra. I'm going to be using Ginger Brute to block the Zareth anyway. Why are they not equipping the Carver? I can't say that I understand that. Uh, let's, uh, let's sack it. Alright. There we go, so I gained three life. Let's see what they have going on. 
Maybe. Maybe. Scavenger again. Okay. Cool. Wind robber. Or another rogue. Okay, cool. Hmm. Caspopleurus. Put it on to you. And then I guess we'll play this out because it'll need to block Zareth. You were, we're actually still not in a great spot so far this game. I'm not feeling too, too terribly confident just yet, but at least we have a block engine going for Zareth. Beloved princess every turn. Uh-oh. Yay! <laughs> Luris, keep the graveyard size down. Not Zareth. Okay. I mean, we're just going to gain five every turn, I guess. Back and forth. Odd infinitum. And they're going to give me more stuff to put onto the princess. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. For sure. Oh, maybe I should have put Ginger Brood out for that. Maybe. Oh, maybe they're worried about Luris. That would make sense. It is possible that they could block with Thieves Guild Enforcer and then find a way to give it Death Touch in a bit, but I have Karimich's Blessing, so I'm not too worried about that. Nope, that's not what's going on. They're just blocking. Cool. Okay. Blessing would also let me trade Hushbringer for Scavenger, but I don't think that that actually gets me there. Please keep attacking. Okay. 6-3. They keep attacking, then I keep getting new stuff. I keep getting new toys to play with. Alright. Yes, I'll mill two. Another all the clip. Nice. Alright. Well, hey. I guess that that works. Hmm. Okay. Two blockers. Yeah, let's just let it through. That's alright. We can let it through. No first strike in this deck. I don't have Dub. Of course, it's a Luris deck. I don't have Cartouche because this is standard. Or my turn. Alright. So I can go Ginger Brute this turn. I could, oh, I get to sort of choose my own adventure here. Hmm. There's another side of me that would like to go all that glitters on Hushbringer. Yeah, let's do that. I, I wouldn't like to put all my eggs in one basket, and this is going to get damaged a little bit sooner. Hiya. Right, what do you have? Okay. Can they sack the wind robber yet? No, they cannot. Gain a ton of life. And hopefully put Scavenger on blocking duty. Because if Scavenger just blocks, then I will still be able to keep attacking with Princess until they've run out of resources. In a war of attrition, I think that I win. I think that that's safe to say. Ah, uh, that time it didn't help me out. Alright. They're still going. Hmm. Okay, well we got there. That was ranked, right? Please tell me that that was ranked. Okay. I want to be careful about how many games of ranked I play, because I want to, I, I don't want to have disconnects. 
it's fine. I, I'm already Star Platinum. I would like to be Crazy Diamond by the time it's over and done with. Shining Diamond if you watch the dub. Only eight. Let's keep going. Let's keep playing. We can keep this up. We can keep this up. We can do this. I still haven't gotten my minimum four games every day. Uh, let's see. That's not a creature. That hand is no creature. So, beep. Actually, I probably could have because of Luris, but I, I think that's all right. Um, maybe a land instead, actually. Yeah, a land. I'll get enough chances to find other lands. Oh, hi. Shadow Spear. Maybe they're the same deck. Who knows? Oh, wait, I have played you before. Okay. Yes, ah, uh, this is... This is life. Oh, yay. Oh, good times. You can hear the joy in my voice. I'm so happy about... Okay. Yeah, this is not legendary. Despite being a castle, it's not legendary. Alright. Well. Whale. Sentinel's Eyes for sure. No matter what, Sentinel's Eyes. And then I can go... I can equip this, trample lifelink, or I can just make it bigger. Way bigger. Giggity. Let's go for it. Hiya. Block with the angel? Nine. Alright. Cool. Doesn't double their life gain, they just gain one extra. Uh oh. I knew it! I knew it! Alright, so now we're on Lurus duty, it seems. Ouch. Okay, well, no Luris yet. Uh, if I play a Grange out now, then I can get Luris plus Knight's Pledge. They're getting awfully close to turning on that Angel of Vitality. Let's see what all's in the yard. Sentinel's Eyes, Knight's Pledge. Yeah, let's do that. It, it does use up the counter, unfortunately. All right, but we'll have a creature. Uh-oh. Oh god, it's a creature already. And that's game. That's game. Jeez. Boop. All right. I mean, I'll keep I'll keep going, but it's not looking great. Lures first. Hello, not that one. Let's give it a counter. Alright, Knight's Pledge. Alright. Something, something's about to happen. Okay. Never mind, not yet. I'm sure it will happen, but not... Okay, okay. I can live with that. But it's not great, but I can live with that. Selfless Savior. Okay. Just swing with almost everybody, dude. Yeah, I have to block something. Alright, so we're just dead. We are just dead. What could possibly get me out of this? Uh, if they had done that beforehand, then I would be I would be dead regardless. Well, no, because I could block Heliod, but no. Keeping it real, no. Alright, well, I didn't deal damage, so I didn't gain life. Hmm... There was not a, a top deck that could have gotten me out of that. Hmm. If I had a little more mana, I could and a bigger Lurus, I could have actually killed Heliod with Shadow Spear. So that was that was fun. <laughs> let's keep it. Let's keep it up. Got to get at least my four wins in. At least. We can do this. We. 
do this. Also, I still haven't killed 15 creatures yet. I think you can satisfy those quests just by going into a Sparky game, and because I'm playing a bunch of Mono White and it's not going to happen for a while, maybe I'll do that, but no, I think we're okay. Alright. Let's see. I mean, yeah, it's not terribly impactful, but it has two lands, a creature. It's fine. It's everything we need, if not everything we want. Would be nice to be on the play for this, though, since we're already looking like we're going to be a bit behind. And against black. Alright. I will see your lifelink and call... What's the poker term? You, I'm calling. I guess I have another one. I know what I mean to say. Yeah, I know. Let's not say we didn't. Okay, two one menace, lifelink, bunch of stuff. Menace, lifelink, bunch of stuff. There's a technical magic term. Okay. I mean, yeah, I guess. Make him do it. There's obviously a trap. Okay, it's a trap. Alright, I'll just do it now. Get that extra point in. Okay, that's the that's the concern with doing it there. used up a card for a point. Not worth it. It's not worth it. It's the narrator voice. It was not worth it. Maybe I do the ginger brute here. No, it's fine. Okay. Um, Shadow Spear, equip Shadow Spear, or Shadow Spear Eyes Footing? Yeah. Plus I'll, I'll have Luris up. See if they'll do it again. What even are you, dude? Five or more plus and plus encounters. Okay. Okay. Well, that part doesn't matter because I have Hushbringer out. And so, of course, I found another planes. Of course. Alright. Not yet. Hmm. Do I attack or no? I don't. I don't think I do. Not yet. Huh. Not yet. Wait just a sec. Cleric enters the battlefield under your control. You gain one life. No, you don't. Whenever you gain life for the fr okay. No, you don't. All right. Yeah, might as well, I suppose. Ouch. Knight's Pledge. Okay. I can go add Luris to hand and then Ginger Brute. Still don't have Vigilance on it, though. Not yet. <laughs> Ginger Brute sack Ginger Brute Sentinel's eyes. Winning. That sounds horrible. Why am I even considering doing that? Why am I considering do Because I need the, the life. I really do need the life at some point. Alright. There that goes. That was so silly. And yet, maybe it'll work. Hopefully it'll work. So I get to actually swing through, hoorah, start gaining life myself. Now I am ahead in life. Not that it'll matter for too long. Because they had it again. Of course they did. Well, not worth. 
Not worth, folks. I mean, I guess I play it out. I tried. Cleric Tribal. Beaten by Cleric Tribal, it seems. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. Alright, so I can go Luris. Luris, I'll see because I need another blocker. Doesn't matter, I, I lose regardless. One creature has to block this cleric. I don't like any of these options. I don't like any of them. Right. Well, despite being fla having flash, Luris needs to do it now. I guess I'm going to be putting my eggs into the Luris basket, so we'll do it this way. Oh, there you are. Are you a, you're a cleric too? Okay. Neat. Ah. Bang. Good game. Good game. Working my way down, unfortunately. It's not where I'd like to be. Hmm. I have three copies of Uro. Why am I not just playing Uro? Three copies of Uro and four copies of the Bug Triland. Just play Uro. You got me. Initial 10. Okay. This is slow. I don't have any buffs. We can make it work. I have Awaken My Master stuck in my head now. No, don't ask why. I have no idea. Alright. So I can go... Ginger Brute, Beloved Princess. And try to use the life gain to uh, keep myself alive. Double li two lifelink creatures should make playing around removal a little easier. Hey, I'm recording. It means I'm recording. I mean, uh... <laughs> Alright, so that's one down. She's not an enchantment creature. Still need to get this out soon. Alright, everybody. Charge! Right, go back to 20. I have a feeling, yeah, they're just gonna play it out. No, robber. Okay. I mean, it works. As long as it's quit. Okay, Embercleave. So they'll use this to kill one of the ginger brutes. Yep. No, 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 they can't. Hushbringer. That's right. Alright, so hopefully this will be a win, because this might be my last game for a hot sec. They had another giant, of course. Yeah, this is slow. We're, we're just ever so slowly eating away at them. Okay. 
Oh yeah, because I have... I should have used that first. Oh well. It's a land. Okay, thank goodness. Just a land. Land. Okay, no it's not. Um, I guess we can get another all state out. This is a lot of dudes. I have a wall of dudes now. Alright, Lurus is dead. Yeah. That wasn't that wasn't bound to last too terribly long. Alright, they get two activations. Solid footing and all that glitters. Uh-oh. That's a combination. Alright, um what can get me out of this? Onyx needs to be the first one down for sure. Onyx. Onyx, the Pokemon. Uh, that would give them two more creatures, but at least it would stem the bleeding a bit. They have no Embercleave. Actually, that's their exile. Uh-oh. Yeah, I don't know what gets me out of this. I may just have to go on chump blocking duty for a bit, because I'm about to go to five here. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know that I envy myself this position. All right. Okay, here goes nothing. If he didn't count himself, that would be that would be nice. Nah, oh well. It's the world we have. Uh, and then pass. All right. Let's see if they don't play there. Oh wait, they can't. They can use solid footing, but they can't use all that glitters in the same turn. Okay. Yeah, that's not good. Land. Pause. Okay. Uh oh. It's not getting any better. Okay, what you got? I mean, they have no other... They have no cards in hand, so I know that this is going to kill something. Um, take it. Oh, wait, they have Castle Embreath. Didn't use it. I would be dead, right? Yeah, it's base 6 plus 1 for each creature that swung through. I would have been dead. Hmm. Okay. I don't know what gets me out of this. I don't think that there is a card that gets me out of this. Not anymore. Not anymore there's not. Alright. Go for one more. See if I can not end the video dropping down to Platinum 3. So that's what it, it's look. That's what it looks like is about to happen. Maybe I should go back into historic for the secret sauce there. But standard is actually what got me up to uh, platinum one in the first place. Hmm. You know what? I guess it's worth a shot. I guess it would also just let me put more in the video. Okay. A mayo sandwich. Uh, am I gonna get beaten by him? I hate mayonnaise. With a passion, I hate mayonnaise. Alright. I mean, this looks like a fine hand. And they don't have Lurus, so they're not the Pyromancer deck. Yay! Alright. No, instead they are elves. Okay. Um... So I can use Hushbringer to prevent them from drawing a bunch of cards. Visionary and more expensive Visionary. 
Or I could play Spirit Dancer. They do have red, so I, I want to be careful about S Spirit Dancer early. So we'll do this. See how they respond. They take it, of course. Hushbringer first. Oh, okay. This is not regular elves. Interesting. So no more life gain for me, I guess. That's what it's looking like. I guess I'll just get my creature outside of range as quickly as possible. Aha! Okay. I mean, let's attack for one in the air. Hmm. Well, I can't block it anyway, as menace. Domri's ambush. Oh boy. Oh, well that was quick. That was quick and easy. Um Let's see. Yeah, I might I might just do it there. I'm sorry I didn't get more wins, folks, but I am, I am just going to call it right there. All right. That's it for now. Oh, that's my four wins. Maybe I should just show off to Sparky for a little bit just to kill some creatures, but uh, we'll get to that later. I'll get to that later today, I'm sure. One more. No must. Because I can. Doop. 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 There we go. Doop. Let's see. What do we have? Dun 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 Oh, another uh, King Kong. Okay. I mean, I'd like to play Brawl with that. That seems kind of neat. <laughs> Other than that, though, I have gone quite a ways through this set. Let me uh, quickly go to my collection and sort. Just Ikoria. Collected, not collected. Rare. Now, Mythics is, uh, of course, going to show far fewer. But, uh, yeah, I've been opening quite a bit of this. And the reason is these little these little guys. They help out with brewing all kinds of decks. And that's a thing because Michael1916 has me over for content creator brew offs, jank offs. Plus it just lets me I like brewing. Maybe my favorite part of the game. Other than in fact, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so uh yeah, good time. Fun fact, this was the first four of that I got uh, just from opening packs. I never spent a wild card on this. I had no intentions of it, but I think the game's trying to tell me, just like when it gave me four Sanctum of Alls, I think it's trying to tell me I need to try to play Mardu Control. So maybe one day. Probably at some point. Uh, but I don't have the lanes for that. Not yet. I will soon. At this rate, I will soon. That's it. Take care, Magic Community, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye! <laughs>